today's, uh, today's throwback. Using 200 years of local history to explain the political theater of the absurd, being reenacted in rivers and now outsiders, British Consul then and also Rock now exploit their, their usually violent political disputations. Many of you readers must have heard about King Jaja Wokobo, a former Igbo boy sold into slavery in Ijo land that would later end his freedom and chieftaincy on the island of Borni. What many of you may not know is that Jaja was one of the toughies of Borni who was violently chased out to go and found Okobo where he ultimately gained fame and the British treasury that led to his kidnap. Exile on the Caribbean island and death at the Mediterranean on his return passage by his British abductors. Read the story of Oko Jumbo, who defeated Jaja and made him leave Borni below and compare the abridged story with the thuggishness of Rivers' politics since 1999. And you will agree with me that history often repeats itself and violence can easily be culturalized in some people's politics. Oko Jumbo was a freed slave who became a lesser chief in Boni but managed to amass considerable wealth and thus power through astute trading. He became one of the leaders of a group of chiefs who dominated the ruling Manila people house on the death of King Dapa of Boni on 13 August 1855, the acting British consul in the Bight of Biafra, J.W.B. Linkslager, signed a document on 11 September 1855 appointing the chiefs and people, Ada Allison, Captain Hart, and Manila people as regency required to consult with Banigo and Okojumbu, quote unquote, two gentlemen of the river. The arrangement which gave the Manila people house control of, of the regency caused immediate disputes with the rival Anna or Anna people house. When this lager's replacement arrived, he reported that, quote, the four regents never lived in unity or unanimity. Consequently, civil war was ever right around and about them, leading to immense loss of British property. When the official leader of the Manila House died in 1863, Banigo and Okojumbo could not agree who was to succeed, and so appointed a figurehead named Waribo, while continuing to control the house. In an attempt to restore calm, the British restored William Dapper Pep I, whom they had exiled in 1854 as king on 18 August 1861, and on his death on 30th September 1866, installed his son, George Uri Biji Pep as king. However, Oko Jumbo remained leading power in the kingdom. On 6 March 1866, Bishop Ajayi Crowder described Oko Jumbo as the most sensible and wealthy man in Borneo and noted that he had learned to read the first chapter of St. Matthew. The next year, he had learned to write and enrolled 13 of his children in school. He gave his support to the Christian missionaries and on Easter Day 1867, joined King George in declaring that the monitor lizard, the traditional deity of Boni, was no longer was no longer Boni Juju. Postscript: It must be stated that the political culture of violence is not unique to rivers. Where it here in Ibado, the often reenacted violent politics of Kano that I am already praying against the temperamental politics of Eastern of the eastern states should tell us that we as Nigerians need to generally work on our political culture. I am Bola Oba.